because I do these surgeries under local anesthesia and the incisions are, in most cases are small, just on the lower part of the areola, the incisions take about a week or two to heal. And after that, patients can start jogging, cycling, but for strenuous uh, training or activities like contact sports, we advise um, to wait a month um, after surgery or so at least. In terms of work, it depends on what you do. Um, a lot of people wa working from home these days, um, a few days is enough uh, before you can go back to your laptop or computer. But for office work, if you are commuting, um, we advise take a week off or so. To be on the safe side, if your work is a physical job, um, then it's better to take uh, a bit longer than a week. Um, because if you're wearing a compression vest, we don't want you to, to do anything that will cause more discomfort. Um, so that is the immediate healing. Um, you may or may not have bruising um, and swelling um, and pain in most cases is not severe um, and it's temporary and uh, usually goes away within two weeks. For bigger cases where there's skin excision, that again depends on individual um, patient. Um, if you're a smoker, if you have medical conditions, um, that may affect your, your healing. So healing is very uh, individualized in terms of what to expect. But for most people, luckily, immediate healing is within two weeks. And the intermediate is usually within a, um, a month or two. But the final results is usually six months or so. So depending on what grade you've had, depend on your medical condition, your physical uh, state. Most common type of gynecomastia is mild cases. So the results, you see them straight away. For other cases where there's skin excess or uh, we've used skin tightening treatment, it may take um, longer, up to six months before you see the final results. So don't panic uh, straight away after gyno surgery because you may have a bit of hardness. Um, skin may not be as tight as you like. There may be a bit of discoloration of the areola or scabbing. Um, so it's better to be patient, wait up to six months before the healing is complete. Most of our cases are just grade one to grade two. And because of the type of um, local anesthesia we use, bleeding is reduced and hence complication rates are very low. So we use double compression and don't need the, uh, the use for drains. But for occasionally for rare cases, big cases, uh, drains may be required. A lot of patients ask me whether the gland or the breast tissue uh, that is causing the gynecomastia can grow back. Well, sometimes it's fat that is causing the, the gyno look. So if we remove fat um, or a bit of gland and uh, you gain fat, um, sometimes you may be left with a bit of fullness. Um, the main thing here is that um, we leave a little bit of breast tissue under the areola so that the areola doesn't sink in. Otherwise, it leaves you with a hollowness or a donor deformity. Um, so this means that what we leave behind is as important as what we take out. So for that reason, Yes, the gland uh, can grow back um, because we've left behind a little bit of tissue to support the areola. Uh, some patients uh, can get away with removing the whole gland. That's another question. Doctor, can you remove the whole gland? Uh, well, in some cases, yes, uh, but not in everyone, unfortunately. So if you have thick skin, um, well-built muscles or very little fat, then probably yes. And I make that judgment during surgery um, for best outcome. Uh, so, yes, uh, gland can grow back and yes, sometimes we can get away with uh, taking out the whole gland. Surgery can always lead to complications and sometimes you need revision surgery. So for patients who come to us for revision surgery that was done elsewhere, we always advise them to go back to their original surgeon who did the surgery. But if we think that uh, we can help you achieve what you want or improve your results, um, then we discuss that after assessing you and for realistic expectation, because it's not always easy to achieve uh, what the patient wants to achieve. Uh, but in my practice, my patients in the first six months, if there's any correction, usually mild correction um, of a little bit of tissue or touch up, um, then that's included in the treatment if it is within the six months of, the, of your treatment. Immediately after surgery, the scar is usually clean and without visible stitches. In the first two weeks, you may have darkening of the areola skin 
or scarbing or hardening of the incision area. This can take two to six months to go back to normal or soft, as the skin is usually remodeling itself after surgical trauma. And that is one of the reasons we say wait six months before we look at the final results. But occasionally we consider medical steroids injections if the scarring is causing some sort of distortion. Or otherwise, I prefer to have patience and avoid injections as your skin is naturally remodeling the scar from hard to soft. You have access to our aftercare team if you have concerns about your healing and you can contact us anytime after your surgery. Scarring depends on what sort of surgery you've had. In my practice, the majority of my incisions are tiny, generally in the areola or in the armpit crease. In severe cases, gynecomastia, meaning um, loose skin, you may need skin excision. And skin excision methods depend on the severity, uh, patient uh, surgeon preferences. Many examples, for example, uh, a nipple lift with upper part excision of the skin uh, is done and this can leave you with scarring just on the upper half of the areola. Sometimes uh, a round scar uh, is left behind after excision or, or of a donut procedure but this can leave you with a little bit of wrinkling or puckering which is known to be temporary. For higher grades you may have uh, what we call an inverted T scar. Uh, again this depends on what skin excision methods the surgeon has used. There's many methods. For severe cases I prefer to do an excision of the breast um, and the skin with relocation of the areola to a more normal or closer to normal position. Um, this leaves you with a good flat chest uh, but with horizontal scars across each side. So in terms of scarring this all depends on the patient um, but everyone is different. So for most patients the fact that this has changed their life, um, gynecomastia surgery has improved their quality of life. Uh, for many scarring is, is an issue. So it's important to know what options are available to you, what options you're willing to accept before going ahead with the surgery. And that's why we often advise patients to seek a, a second opinion. Initially, um, patients get in touch with the clinic and request for an appointment. Uh, we're able to offer initially video calls or telephone consultations and after you submit your photos, medical questionnaire, and you're happy with our initial assessment and conversation, we arrange a face-to-face -face appointment. Uh, sometimes patients prefer to come straight for the face-to-face um, -face appointment. Um, so that's fine. But during the face-to-face -face appointment, we revisit your medical history, uh, do a physical examination, and go through your goals and expectations. Then we discuss what is, what is realistically achievable. And after your consultation, um, it's advisable sometimes to get a second opinion to weigh your options. And after a cooling off period, which is usually at least two weeks, um, you can book for surgery. Um, it's important you do your research first and do not rush into making a decision. Um, the immediate two weeks after surgery recovery period is important. And in our practice, you will have access to um, aftercare support from day one and answer your queries, for example, your healing progress, in case you have side effects uh, after surgery. Remember, a gentle massage after the wound has closed up may prevent swelling or tissue hardness, but you will be um, sort of um, guided in this. After, in the past three months, there's maybe residual tissue hardness or scar tissue that is still resolving, um, and then at this point, you will still have access with our aftercare team uh, to support you throughout your recovery. And at six months, we expect full healing. And at this point, we plan to reassess you, see you, and discharge you um, after. It's important you, you come for the final checkup, at least, uh, or at least to contact our clinic if we cannot reach you. So day one after surgery, that is 24 hours, um, you will have an aftercare pack with dressings, spare compression, vest, paracetamol and written instructions and you will have contact to contact us for any queries you may have.